Horror can be a pretty interesting genre for movies. It can be captivating to watch a paranormal scenario unfold on screen, but there have been some movies where these paranormal scenarios may have began to affect things in real life. One very popular example of this happening would be in the movie The Omen. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with The Omen, although I haven't seen the movie myself, I've heard a lot about it. More specifically, I've heard a lot about the curse behind it. A lot of strange events are rumored to have happened during the making of this movie. The most unnerving event would have to be what happened to John Richardson, a special effects consultant of the movie. About a month after The Omen was released, Richardson was in the car with his assistant, Liz Moore, when they got into a car accident. As a result of the accident, Moore was cut in half by the wheel of the other vehicle. Some people say this is reminiscent of a decapitation scene that happened in the Omen movie. It gets weirder though. When Richardson stumbled up from the accident, the first thing he saw was a kilometer marker that read Omen 66.6 kilometers. The closest town to them was Omen, Netherlands, and apparently this happened at 66.6 kilometers away from the town. Although this event really did happen, some people are skeptical that he actually saw a sign reading 66.6 kilometers because that would be a really weird number to have marked on a road sign. That's not the only strange event to happen during the making of this movie. One of the actors, Gregory Peck, had his plane struck by lightning while traveling to the set. The engine caught on fire and the plane almost crashed, but he did survive. Only a few days after that, the producer of the movie, Mace Neufeld, had his plane struck by lightning too, and also survived. And to make their luck with planes even worse, there was a part of the movie that was going to be shot using an aerial shot, so they rented an airplane to use for this. At the last minute, the plane rental company changed planes and gave the original plane to some Japanese businessmen. That original plane later crashed after taking off and killed everyone in it. In addition to all that, there was a scene in the movie where they intended to use tigers. An animal expert came onto the set to help wrangle the tigers that they were going to use, but they didn't properly secure one of them, and as a result, it got loose and killed the animal expert. Finally, the producer of the movie, Mace Neufeld, luckily escaped death several times during the making of the movie. During the filming of the movie, he was staying at the Hilton Hotel in London when it was bombed. Luckily, he was not there at the time, so he wasn't hurt, but later on, he is going to a restaurant in London that was also bombed just minutes before he showed up. As insane as that is, some people explain this away by saying the IRA was bombing a lot of places in London at the time, so it isn't too unexpected for something like that to happen. So as you can see, a lot of unfortunate stuff happened during the filming of The Omen, which led to the creation of the so-called curse. Some say it's all coincidence, whereas others insist this is the result of something supernatural. Curses like this are also rumored to be associated with other movies too. Take the Poltergeist for example. Four cast members of the Poltergeist died within six years of the first movie being released. The actor Heather O'Rourke died during an operation, Julian Beck died from cancer, Will Sampson died during an operation, and Dominique Dunn was strangled to death by her boyfriend. Now it may seem a little bit far-fetched to say these events are simply a coincidence, but maybe the idea isn't as bizarre as you think. I'm sure there are unfortunate events surrounding other non-horror related movies that we just don't hear about as much. I know there have been a lot of tragic events that have happened to people involved with the Superman franchise over the years. I think the main reason we don't hear about bad things happening with other movies is because they aren't horror movies, so no one makes up a curse about it. What do you guys think? Is the whole omen curse a real curse, or just a coincidence? Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.